So let's start out with, this is the Maxi Pop Deco Charm Collection. So the white ribbon that I'm wearing is from the Maxi Pop Collection. The Candy Candy Fantasy. So you get two little teddy bears. You already know. EnoCouture.com makes the best charms and diamonds in the world. The shape that I'm wearing today too is the XXL Sculpted Stiletto. So you're going to get these two little teddy bears. Look at that, how cute they are you guys. And all of our charms, I really focus on making stuff that would fit short nails and long nails too. So trust that they fit the short phalanges. Look at that scene. So even if you want to rock short nails or if you want to rock long nails, all of the charms that we are, are releasing will work for both. I didn't want to do something that was a little bit too novelty or something that wouldn't fit everyone. So I wanted to make sure that it was perfect for everybody's nail size. Because different strokes for different products. So you get two little beige bows, you get two little white ones, you get two gray bows, and two lavender. The Aurora bow, look at that. Ooh, Lucy, you're missing Caso Cerrado. It's Lucy in Max's favorite show. Caso Cerrado, the one with the stalker. Look at that bow. And then you're going to get also Daryl Harris is here for the charm fantasy. Look at that, Miss Harris. And the Kiwi makeup sponge. And then you're gonna get a little gummy bear in Aurora. That's Chris's new jam. Why are you so obsessed with me? Oh, I wanna know. So let's put these away. And then I'm gonna show you guys the Showgirl Diamond Charms. Those are, those are for El Barrio. Those are for downtown Toronto. Those are for Spirit Rhino in Las Vegas. These are the Showgirl Charms. Will you be making flowers later on? Later on. We are um, rebranding, if you will, the Diamond Holic line. So we will add more stuff to that as well, too. Look at that. Look at these fantasies. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Very simple. Very discreet, this one. You know, you can barely even notice anything. Look at that one with like a Tiffany's blue as the base. Some of these for the girls. Look at that in beige. Because, you know, beige is a color that goes with everything. I didn't want to make them in colors that were not... Um, more on the neutral side. I wanted to make something that would look good on every skin tone and also like any base for the design. Some small teddy bears. Look at that little teddy bear. The heart of the sea. And then I did another one of the... Clusters, because you guys know your boy loves the clusters. And then for the real showgirls, for the ones that are committed, you get this charm. Look at that one. And she just dangles and gives you all that fantasy. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at that fantasy. Ready for Bojangles. So these are very, very simple, very discreet, very everyday kind of new. A very Egyptian goddess. For the bunny fantasy. So one thing that the uh, acupuncture doctor told me, he said, Max, you really need to be conscious of how you sit and how you stand. Always make sure everything is out, out and about. Push out those shoulders, he said. So I gotta remind myself all the time. Push out the shoulders, push out the shoulders. So this is the sticker called Palace for the gold Baroque fantasy. 
You get that very Marie Antoinette, Anastasia, Princess of Russia. And then we got the Kitty Princesses. Very sweet. Very adorbs. And then we got Miss Alice in Wonderland. Public Domain. And then this is the one I'm rocking right now is the Gummy Bears in 3D. And they are, as you can see, they are in 3D. Very Heidi style. And I rocked the Gummy Bears with the Pink Army sticker. And then last but not least is the Flash Gels. In the new collection, this is the Black Diamond, this is the Caramel Diamond. Sugar Cookie, Topaz, and Royal Pink. Look at these colors. And you already know that they shine like crazy with the Harlot. Let me turn this light off and see if we can get a quick little sneak peek. Come through. Look at that. So beautiful. These colors are super neutral in regards to that. They look great on every skin tone and they're colors that you'll use year round. When I made this collection, I wanted to make sure that I would make colors that are perfect for every occasion. I didn't want to necessarily make something that, you know, is more seasonal or more of a gimmicky kind of color. I wanted to make stuff that looks good on everybody and that everybody uses all the time. So these are super neutral colors that look great on everybody. And I am wearing, I think, Sugar Cookie on this finger. And you can see it sparkles and shines for the fantasy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Giving you kawaii, cute, bunny fantasy, Egyptian goddess vibes tonight. So let's get into snatching the thumb, you guys. From Chicago, Red to the Black. So we are going to use XXL Sculpted Stiletto. And let's use Pink DIY Gel. Have the girls tried the Pink DIY Gel yet? Are you guys living for it? Are you guys obsessed? And the, the color pink I'm actually re wearing on my other nails is... What color is she? A pink 11. Make sure you apply enough gel here at the apex. Awesome. So many compliments. Let's get our flashy ready. Press down firmly. Hold, make sure there's no excess that might have ran. And then give her a quick little freeze. Do the inside a little bit. Beautiful, look at that. She is ready. Ready, Freddy. Let's bake that for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lock. So which new enocouture.com product are you guys most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. Are you most excited about the new stickers? Are you most excited about the new flash gels? What is your fantasy? Are you most excited about the new charms? The new A pink colors? Especially that milky white, it's just so chic. The maxi bobblehead flashlight, that would be funny, can you imagine?
There we go, she is done baking. Beautiful. Look at the color of the nail, but though it is so flawless. So we're gonna take our little fantastic file. Give her a quick little shaping. Make sure those sides are nice and straight. Look at that shape, it is so sculpted though. My daughter is so bummed, I got her the square black French tip nails, the extra long ones, and now she can't wear, wear them because she started a new job and she stocks, so she can't wear them. You don't look old enough to have a daughter that would be uh, working. You look too young, my love. Doing my nails right now, how exciting. You guys, we're so close to a giveaway. If we reach 100 views, we're gonna do a giveaway at the end of the video. We're gonna give away a tube of pink press-on gel. I'm oh, sorry, pink DIY gel. And then just really gently go around that cuticle, blend her in for the seamless fantasy. The shape's everything. Charms and stickers, you can never order enough. Let's go in with the purple buffer and just really gently remove the top shine off the surface of the nail. And then we're gonna go in with a pink. You guys, I am so lucky that everything that we make here at EmoCouture.com really, people just love it. And I'm so lucky that I am able to make things that people love and people use and it makes them, you know, happy. And it makes a difference in their lives. So lucky that even copied. I think that's so wild. But the good thing is that I got my attorney on a speed dial, so they are working on that one. Is there a difference between a DIY gel and uh, the press-on gel? So press-on gel was the first gel specifically designed for the one, two, three, go application. Okay. So it designs and it gives you a very strong bond. And DIY gel is a different viscosity, but it's also made using the same raw materials, but it gives you a slightly more flexible bond. But both are great, both are incredible, and it really just comes down to personal choice. Um, and both are available in clear and in pink as well too. pink press on gel can't wait to put on the new set she is ready we're going to be using a pink in 11 which is this really pretty milky pink and it just gives you such a natural fantasy like it makes the nail look like the perfect nude it is so rich and really flattering too and it self levels out and it just gives you see look at that Look how natural that looks. And remember, you can use A Pink as a natural nail strengthener because it is fortified with vitamin E and calcium. You can use it as a rubber base coat, you can use it as a regular base coat, or you can just use it as a color. So she is all of those and a bag of chips. You guys were only 20 views away from a giveaway. Already trying to book for the Black French. I love your products, thank you! That's awesome! I'm so glad your clients are loving it as well too. So we're going to bake this color for 30 seconds. Just to freeze it in place, okay? The color is beautiful and it smells so good. Cop, yes! <sighs> Intellectual property, she's no joke. I tell you guys, the stalkers, the crazy stalkers, Buffalo Bill, put the lotion on the skin. Hi from Aruba! Oh, she's so cool! Hi Max, hello! So we're gonna go in with a very thin coat of shiny. 
and we're going to cure it for 10 seconds just so that way it becomes a rubberized texture and the stickers really really adhere beautifully to it. Beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. Shared, thank you. Let's bake that for 10 seconds. And we're gonna get our tools ready for the sticker application. You guys already know. And we're going to use the gummy bears. Here we go, 10 seconds. What color should we use? Let's use the light blue one, she's cute. The holiday, the Halloween ones are actually almost sold out. So we might have to make more or another volume of Halloween ones, but the girls really love the Halloween ones. So if they sell out this week, then I do plan on making more of the Halloween ones because they are a seasonal item. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Ooh, let's go in with an orange. What does the A-Pink smell like? She smells like uh, strawberry bubblegum. If I come work for you, can I get a discount? Yes, employees get a discount, actually. Let's put this one right here on the thumb. Remember you guys, don't put the stickers too close to the edge, okay? Because then it's going to be harder to cut them and blend them. Always leave a tiny little bit of space between the nail and the sticker. And these are the pink army stickers. Let's do a pink carrot, because we need our vegetables. So it was interesting when I was getting my, my acupuncture treatment, I think a good, maybe at least 30 minutes of the, of the treatment time was the doctor explaining why you should be a vegan. I was like, I love my red meat. I love steak, I love pork, I love beef. I'll, is seafood considered a red meat? Or are you, if you're vegan, can you eat it? Max, when are you gonna do mama's nails again? Probably about a week and a half. Super cute, I love it. Are living for your nails they're all like oh my gosh what are you wearing the girls are living for it let's do the little sunset fantasy pescatarians eat seafood but I don't know if vegans do or not. I'm not, I don't know that much about veganism. I thought vegans don't eat anything that comes from animals. Yeah, because they told the guy, I was like, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm tired. I'm achy. And he's like, oh, it's because of the food you eat.
beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Max, can you please make black French 23 gum mini square? Maybe. Maybe for you. But. If I do, it won't come out anytime soon. Because the black our black French nails take a really long time to make. And we have to go down the pipeline of our production uh, schedule. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of primer around the edges to melt everything for that fantasy very gently. But it is something that is in consideration. That is true, and I'm old. Exercise, what's that? I've never heard of that word before. Mm, so it's a type of veganism. And I think it has something to do with like those um, those meals I had delivered. Like ever since I started eating them, I've noticed I felt like extra tired. So I stopped eating them. I didn't have very much left. But I just noticed that like I feel more tired when I do eat them. I don't know if they have like a lot of sodium or something like that too, but I don't know. I just got so over them. Oh, and then the other thing the doctor told me too, he said, um, hot, hot baths in Epsom salt. And I was like, whoa, I'm really becoming an old man when you're going to take baths in Epsom salt. So now we're going to do a very thin coat of shiny over the entire nail. Not thick to seal it, but just thin enough to wrap around everything and get you a smooth surface, okay? for a few seconds. Don't eat too much of them. Mmm, and chicken too. So I'm going to pick up some Prisma. You already know the bottom chick. And we're just going to add it around the fantasy. Juan, ¿le dices a mamá que hay boy? Le dije a mi papá que en 15 minutos se viniera, no que se viniera ya. Oh, my dad, you guys. I told them, I said, come for me in 15 minutes. And then they arrived early. Oh. Yes. Mm, that is not going to stop the snatching. silicone tool to pick up the prisma glitter and apply it exactly where I want it. See? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences. Good news about my dad is that they finally put him on the happy pills. So hopefully he's going to be less moody. Look at 
that. Oh, so delicious. Let's go ahead and bake this for 30 seconds. Isn't this not giving you the candy fantasy, you guys? I'm obsessed. I think that's what's so cool about the latest um, launch that we did here is that we wanted to create something that was not too cute and not too serious. Do you know what I mean? Something that's versatile for everybody. Because that's the great thing about nail art is that it's different to everyone. Everybody has different tastes. Everybody has different aesthetics. Everybody likes different lengths. Unfortunately, I wish everybody liked long stripper nails like Max, but no. So we've got to be able to accommodate every fantasy. So we're going to go in now with Wonder Gel and seal everything together. So when you put Wonder Gel on the nail, we want to put it on like we're frosting a cake, okay? Beautiful. And then we're gonna turn the hand upside down and let it self-level out, okay? A daisy sticker. I think we might have one. We have quite a few flower stickers. You might have to go and binge, go through all of our stickers because we, we have over 200 stickers. So that's a lot of stickers. Beautiful, look at that. So when the light hits the nail, the surface structure is completely even. So let's go ahead and bake this for one minute, you guys. Stickers that look like airbrush. What do you mean by that one? Eleven PM on the East Coast. The girls are asleep or either doing tricks around the track at this time of night. I'm a night owl though, I'm so bad at that. I should be more of a morning person. I like people who have really long productive days. And I'm the complete opposite. My days go by like this, but I work all night. Well, not all night, but I work pretty late. Hopefully tomorrow, though. Tomorrow I'm going to go live a little bit earlier because um, we have Andrea coming in tomorrow. And there we have it, you guys. Look at that. Isn't she adorable, the little bow? And it's available now. It's part of the Maxi Charm. Maxi Pop Charm Set. Uh, tomorrow I'm going live about 3.30, I think. 3.30, 4 o'clock my time. Adorable. Look at that. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo with the new stuff that we dropped today. And what can I say? I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for making enocouture.com the number one nail brand in the universe. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you check out all these incredible new things that we dropped. And I hope you guys have fun with all this fun phalange fantasies. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everybody. Have a good night.